Today is day nine of the Kate Steinle trial, and the focus was on accuracy, specifically the ability to hit a target once a bullet ricochets. ABC 7 News reporter Liam Melendez is live at the Hall of Justice with more. Liam? Well, just a few minutes ago, the prosecution tried really hard to argue that there is no evidence to show that this was an accident, which is what the defense has argued. Now, another point taken by this expert witness was once a bullet ricochets, the course it takes will be random. The lawyers for Jose Inez Garcia Serrate brought an expert in firearms. James Norris worked in crime labs in San Francisco, San Mateo, and Santa Clara counties. First, he testified that the trigger pull of the gun used to shoot Kate Steinle was light, about four pounds when left in single action mode, meaning ready to fire. If someone were to try and grab it or catch it, or if it caught an article of clothing, it could discharge, and we're talking about an extremely light trigger pull. Initially, Garcia Serrata told police he found the stolen gun at the pier and that it went off when he stepped on it. But later, he admitted to holding the gun wrapped in a piece of cloth and examining it when it went off. The prosecution has maintained that Garcia Serrata had the gun with him all along and that he aimed it at Steinle, who was about 90 feet away. But the bullet ricocheted 12 to 15 feet from where Garcia Serrata was sitting and then traveled another 78 feet, striking Steinle in the back. Norris was asked if a person could aim a gun at someone and accurately hit the target if the bullet ricocheted first. Not likely, he responded, adding that once it hits the pavement, the bullet then loses accuracy. Garcia Serrate is facing murder two charges. Murder two is an intentional act, i.e. you pull the trigger intentionally, and in addition to that, an inherently dangerous act where malice can be implied based on your behavior. The defense is expected to wrap up its case by the end of the week. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.